Move this to the side. And there it is, guys. Hello, coin enthusiasts out there. It is iDax Collects, and today what I have in front of me is Nickel Box number 15 here on YouTube. Nickels to look out for are going to be the Liberty Head or V Nickel minted between 1883 to 1913, Indian Head or Buffalo Nickel minted between 1913 and 1938, any War Nickels minted between 1942 and 1945, and any proofs, anything for the books, and that's pretty much it. And if you haven't seen my last Nickel Box video, I'll put the link right up here so you can go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one. And now, let's get on to opening this box up and checking out those enders. As you can see, we have a circulated box of nickels. Let me do a quick check on the enders to see if there's anything that stands out from the rest. And I'll be right back. Just check through the bottom and top enders, and there's going to be two that stand out. This one right here is going to be an old Jefferson nickel from the year 1948. And then this one right here. This one's going to be from the year 1949. And that is it. So let's go ahead and get started with these first five rolls. And from this point forward, I will not be weighing the coins. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So like I just said, I will not be weighing any more coin rolls simply because it's pretty meaningless, especially for the nickels. They always weigh the same whenever I weigh them on the scale. Hope you guys understand and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Here's our first Jefferson nickel from the 1940s, and it's just going to be a 1940 minted in Philadelphia. All right, let's keep on going. Alright, so after going through the first five rolls of the box, this is the only find I have so far. This 1940 Jefferson Nickel, minted in Philadelphia. Well, let's go ahead and start opening up the next 20 rolls of the box. And once I'm done with that, I'll do a first half box recap, showing you guys all the finds of that half. And if I find anything beforehand, I'll bring the camera back and I'll show you guys what roll I'm currently on and what the find is. So with that being said, Let's get right into it. Currently on roll number 12, and I found my second nickel from the 1940s. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. All right, this one here is gonna be from the year 1940, minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 14, and I found my third nickel from the 1940s, and it's gonna be the one ender that I showed you guys in the beginning. This is the 1948 Ender right here. If this was minted in San Francisco, this will be an addition to my book. Let's see if it's the one. It was minted in Denver. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number 15, and we got a good coin to show here in this roll. One of my favorites to find in circulation. Move this to the side. And there it is, guys. This is gonna be my first Buffalo Nickel of the hunt. It's from the year 1935, minted in Philadelphia, and in pretty good condition as well. Let's see if we can find any more of these bad boys. Currently on roll number 24, and I found my second nickel from the 1930s. 
This is a Jefferson nickel from the year 1939, minted in Philadelphia. Now the air to look out for here is the DDR, which I will check later in the video. So if I don't find anything in these next two rolls, I'll go ahead and start the first half box recap in just a bit. Just finished up the first half of nickel box number 15. Let's go ahead and do a first half box recap right now. So let's set this aside and bring on over the finds. All right, and here are all my finds of the first half. Let's go ahead and go over them real quick. I found one Buffalo nickel here from the year 1935, minted in Philadelphia. And this one here is gonna be a Jefferson nickel from the year 1939, minted in Philadelphia. Then I found a total of three Jefferson nickels here from the 1940s and nine Jefferson nickels here from the 1950s. I will go through these 1950s nickels, so let's start with this one. This one here is gonna be a 1959, minted in Denver. Found this in roll number 18. I managed to find two Jefferson nickels here from the year 1958. Both of them minted in Denver. First one I found was in roll number 13. These two nickels here are gonna be from the year 1957. Both of them minted in Denver. The first one I found was in roll number 19. I found three nickels here from the year 1956. This one here was minted in Philadelphia. I found this in roll number 11. And then these two Jefferson nickels here. This one here was minted in Denver. I found this in roll number 16. And then there's another Philadelphia right there. And the last nickel from the 50s is gonna be this one here from the year 1954, minted in Denver. I found this in roll number nine. And my one highlight coin of the first half is gonna be this right here. The only Buffalo nickel find so far in this box. It's gonna be a 1935 minted in Philadelphia. And these are my finds of the first half. Now let's go ahead and start opening up the next 25 rolls of the box. And once I'm done with that, I'll do a second half box recap, showing you guys all the finds of the second half. And if I find anything beforehand, I'll bring the camera back and I'll show you guys what roll I'm currently on and what the find is. Will we find more Buffalo Nickels in these next 25 rolls? We'll have to see. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Currently on roll number 26, and I found my fourth nickel from the 1940s. And I'll just do a quick one for you, because it's one I've already seen. I found myself another nickel from the year 1940, minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Still in the same roll here, roll number 26, and I found my fifth nickel from the 1940s. We have a 1942, and from the looks of it, I think it might be a war nickel. Let's see if it's gonna translate on the reverse here. Oh, it's not gonna be a war nickel. It's just gonna be a regular nickel minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number 27, and I found my sixth nickel from the 1940s. This one here is gonna be a 1949, Minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number 28, and I found my seventh nickel from the 1940s. This one here is gonna be a Jefferson nickel from the year 1948, minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 32, and I found my third nickel from the 1930s. All right, it's gonna be a Jefferson nickel from the year 1939. Will this have a mint mark? It was minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 36, and we got a nice nickel find right here. Let me show you guys. We got a war nickel here, minted in San Francisco. Let's see what year this Jefferson nickel was minted in. It's gonna be a 1944 San Francisco war nickel right here. Let's see what else is out there. All right, currently on roll number 39, and I found my eighth nickel from the 1940s. This was the other ender from the beginning of the video. This one here is gonna be a 1949, minted in Denver. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 42, and I found my ninth nickel from the 1940s. 
This one here is going to be from the year 1941. Minton in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. All right, currently on roll number 46, and I found my 11th nickel from the 1940s. I screwed up the last two, and I called them 8 and 9, but they're supposed to be 9 and 10, since the war nickel is number 8. It's going to be from the year 1948. Minton in Denver. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number 47, and I found my 12th nickel from the 1940s. This one here is going to be from the year 1941, minted in San Francisco. All right, if I don't find anything in these next three rolls, I'll go ahead and start the second half box recap in just a bit. Just finished up nickel box number 15. Let's go ahead and do a second half box recap right now. So let's set this aside and bring on over the finds. All right, and here are all my finds of the second half. Let's go ahead and go over them real quick. I found one Jefferson nickel here from the year 1939, minted in Philadelphia. And I found a total of nine Jefferson nickels here from the 1940s, one of those being a war nickel, and seven nickels from the 1950s. I'll go ahead and start bringing these 50s nickels out and show you guys all of these right now. All right, I found three Jefferson nickels here from the year 1959. All three 1959 Jefferson nickels were minted in Denver, and I found one of these earlier in the box. This one here is going to be a 1958, minted in Denver. Found this earlier in the box as well. Then I found two Jefferson Nichols here from 1957. This one was minted in Philadelphia. I found this in roll number 46, and then the 1957 to the right here was minted in Denver, and I found that earlier in the box. And the last one from the 50s is going to be this 1953 Jefferson Nickel, minted in Philadelphia. And these are my finds of the second half. Now it's time to go ahead and start bringing out all the finds of Nickel Box number 15 and do a full box recap showing you guys all the finds of the box. So let me go ahead and get all these nickels organized for you guys and I'll be right back. Here are all my finds of Nickel Box number 15. Let's go ahead and go over them real quick. I found one buffalo nickel here from the year 1935, minted in Philadelphia. Found two Jefferson nickels here from the year 1939, minted in Philadelphia. And I found a total of 12 Jefferson nickels here from the 1940s, this one being the war nickel. And then I found a total of 16 Jefferson nickels from the 1950s. And that's all I found in this box. Overall, it was actually a pretty solid box, and since I forgot to show you guys a highlight coin of the second half, it's going to be this right here, this 1944 Jefferson Nickel, minted in San Francisco. And I do want to show you guys this nickel right here. Take a look at this. So I've been hearing about the Black Beauty, and I'm beginning to wonder if this nickel that I have right here is one of them. Let me know in the comments if this is a Black Beauty or not. All right, so now it is time to start going through the books. We'll start with this one right here. Jefferson Nichols, collection 1938 to 1961, number one. Let's go ahead and open this book now and I'll show you guys what I have so far before nickel box number 15. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start looking through all these nickels here to see if I have any additions or upgrades to this book right here. So let me go ahead and find those now, and I'll be right back. And after looking through all my nickels for additions and upgrades, I'm only gonna have two nickels to upgrade here. The 1948 Philadelphia and the 1961 Denver. So let's go ahead and plug these two nickels in to this book here. Let's go ahead and replace this one with this one. And that's going to be upgrade number one. And here is upgrade number two. Let's go ahead and replace this one with this one. And that's going to be upgrade number two. And now after going through nickel box number 15, 
This is what my Jefferson Nichols collection book number one looks like right now. Although we didn't find any additions today, that's okay. I'm glad to have some for the books here to upgrade, and that's not bad at all. Now let's go ahead and close this book now. All right, up next, this is gonna be my Buffalo Nichols collection book here. Collection 1913 to 1938. Let's go ahead and open this book up and I'll show you guys what I have in this book so far before nickel box number 15. As you can see, I have six in this book right now and this Buffalo Nickel here will be number seven. A nice looking 1935 Buffalo Nickel minted in Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and fill it in. And that's gonna be edition number one. And now after going through nickel box number 15, this is what my Buffalo Nickels collection book looks like right now. Very nice to have an addition to this book. We still got plenty more to find in circulation, so the quest never ends. Let's go ahead and close this book now. I will check for the Henning Nickel variety for some of these, because I know I have a 53 somewhere, and I think there's 39s as well. So I will keep the 39s and 53 for the possible Henning Nickel, which is basically a counterfeit nickel from the years 1939, 1944, 1946, 1947, and 1953. So I will check for those. And I will check for these as well for errors. And then I'll put this war nickel away and I'll keep it around. I do keep all my war nickels that I find in circulation. I also will say that I did put this, what I think is a black beauty in a coin holder. And now I'm gonna go ahead and check these nickels here for errors. And if I find an error, I'll bring the camera back and I'll show you guys what the error is of that specific coin. And I'll basically go through the details of that error with you. And if I don't find any errors, I'll go ahead and conclude the video right now. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well for more coin roll hunting and card box unboxing content every Wednesday and Sunday. I always post my videos in the morning. So if you turn on notifications to all, then you'll know exactly when I post my video on those two days. Hopefully you guys had a fun time with this box as much as I did. Let me know in the comments, what is your oldest Buffalo nickel in your collection? I would love to hear what you guys have in your collection. Now I'll go ahead and start signing off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting everyone, and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out my other video, click on the bottom left of the screen.